doing nothing. Now watch what I do here. I'm going to squeeze and see if he'll look over there. Watch my legs. Squeeze a little bit. And if he looks, I leave him alone. And then if I push the button. Then I leave him alone. Now watch my legs. <coughs> squeeze a little bit. And if he looks, I'm going to give him that hole. So these horses that have got this special instinct, they're special. These horses are bred like, like herd dogs. They're bred to do this. But if you don't know these little things. Now, there's two ways to do this, folks. One is you better, you better jump around here or else. Or we can use some psychology. Well, I'm going to ask him just to stay connected to that flag. And did you see me pull the reins to stop him? <laughs> you ready? I'm in charge of the gas and the yields. He's in charge of the turns and the brakes. So watch him turn and watch him stop. I just asked him to yield and look at that flag. That's my job. You see him stop? All right, so that's, now I want him to go farther. So I'm gonna ask him maybe here to go a little farther. And I ask him to stay up here a little more. That's my job, the yields. His job, now if he doesn't do his job, I'm gonna do something about it. Raise your hand if you've ever had a boss and if you didn't do your job, you did something about it. Okay, I'm talking about your wife, guys. I'm talking about the real boss. So the idea is we've gotta have a leadership role. We've gotta have a, a way of holding our horses accountable. But you, what I want you to get out of this though is that there's two ways to do it is you get to do this, or you got to do this. Now, my, one of my very best friends, his name is Doug Jordan. Doug Jordan and I both studied with Tom Dorrance. But Doug, Doug Jordan, after we studied with Tom Dorrance, started doing this, this approach that I'm showing you. He won the cutting horse maturity, he won the first go round, the second go round, the third go round, and he co-tied, co-won the fourth go round with Bill Freeman. He's won the Super Stakes twice, he's won the Derby, he's won all five classics, and he only rides his horse in a snap a bit, and he uses horse psychology. So look up Doug Jordan if you're interested in anything with cutting. He puts on clinics and teaches people how to use psychology. Doug is the man that taught me to think this way. What I'm so grateful for is he specialized in cutting, even though we both learned from Tom Dorrance. And there's, there is no better feeling, folks, than when you squeeze your horse and he gets up and says, yeah. I want to go to that flag rather than, oh no, no. I want my horses to say, oh, wait. I'm just going to show you a little bit of stuff like this now. I don't have my cutting side on, so I, it's not really easy to hang on to this horn. <laughs> but again, all this pulling around stuff that I do, this horse was 16th in the world in the 5,000 division last year. And next year, I'm, I'm planning on bringing him here and showing him right here in this arena. Let's give Scout a hand, would you? I'm gonna tell him he's done. I'm gonna pitch him off here. I'm gonna let him know. I want him to watch it go away. So what I want you to do is I want you to see how can, okay, when you let go of the reins, when you take off the halter off of a horse, there's only one thing left when you take the halter off. Anybody know what it is? The truth. When you take the halter off your horse, that's all there's left is the truth. Now, so can I, somebody go to my jacket and get my telephone? I wanna, I wanna do something real quick. I left my telephone, I usually put it in my shafts here. And so what I'd like to do is invite you to do something, because when I give you this DVD, 